God is good. God is good. Shall we read from Matthew 18, Steve? What's the story about? That's called the parable of the lost sheep. Yeah. Let's read it, shall we? Yeah. Watch that you don't treat a single one of these childlike believers ignorantly. So you. this is Jesus saying this. That's right. Right. Let me carry on, please, Steve. I will. You realize, don't you, that their personal angels are consistently in touch with my Father in heaven. So that means that we all have personal angels. That's our guardian angel. Wow. Wow. Sh shall I carry on, Steve? Yeah. This is getting really good. It is. Look at it this way. If someone has a hundred sheep, that's a lot. That's a lot of sheep. And one of them wanders off. Doesn't he leave the 99 and go after the one? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> and if he finds it, doesn't he make a far more over than if, over the 99 who stayed put? Right, so he's happy when he finds the one. Yeah. Carry on. I will, I okay. will. Your father in heaven feels the same way. He doesn't want to lose even one of those simple believers. So that's neat. That means that when we invite Jesus into our heart, and later on we might go and do some funny, silly things and wander off, uh -oh. the Bible is saying that God will come looking for us. Yeah. God is good. All that time. God, God is, is good. good. That won't do. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, morning, Miss Never, Never Happy. Happy. Now that's much better. Now, we will start with morning talk. Has anyone got something they would like to share and say thank you, God, for what they did on oh, their holiday? Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Oh, yes, Marvin. I went to a Christian camp. And the bus had an accident on the way, but Leonard wasn't hurt. Uh, uh, oh dear, was everyone okay? And who is Leonard, one of your friends? No, my pet lizard. <sighs> I thought the bus driver, Mr Bumsteer, would like to have a turn to hold him. Oh. But he just said a whole lot of naughty words and parked the bus in a hedge. And <sighs> ran off saying they didn't pay him enough or something. But we had a great time at camp. Oh dear, I feel the need to pray. I've never ridden in an ambulance before. Ambulance? Yeah. Our abseiling instructor, Mr Longdrop, had a nasty fall. And he said I must never, ever, ever play with other people's knots or equipment again. Oh. Hey, I got to sign his cast. I've never seen a whole body cast before. <gasps> the full armour of God is called for here. Marvin, do you find that these, uh, these things happen around you a lot? Yeah, that's funny, they do. But the food was boring though. Hey, do you know how far you can flick a Brussels sprout with a spoon? I couldn't believe it. The cook, Miss Servant Slop, She's Scandinavian, you know. Couldn't believe it either. She started to scream something and caught one in her mouth. <laughs> but she spat it out. Which goes to prove that no one likes Brussels sprouts. Not even the cook. Are you okay, Miss Never Happy? You look a bit pale. I think I need to sit down and pray. 
But our no, bunk rooms know. were good. <laughs> uh, that was until the fire. Fire? Fire? What fire? You see, we were, it, it started raining, so I thought we should have a campfire and do some cooking inside. <gasps> you know, marshmallows <gasps> and stuff on a stick and a sing-along. <laughs> you know the stuff. Well, we had a good sing-along with the nice firemen <gasps> after they finished dampening down the hot spots. Oh my. And, and do you know that I was voted the kid most likely to spend his next holidays with my parents. <laughs> what <Whatever laughs> that means. Oh, Miss Never Happy? Miss Never Happy? Why are you lying on the floor like that? Do you think she's been filled with the Holy Spirit? Oh gosh, someone call the paramedic! No, I will. My mum wrote the phone number on my arm here. Quick, oh, I'll help you, Miss Never Happy!